We're back here working on Alex's engine for the 440 going to the duster and these are the pistons. Roger's already gone ahead and measured the weights of all the pistons and we're gonna have to just go through now, remove a little bit of material out of each of them just to get them all within a gram of each other. He had to do a little machining on the pins just to get us the right tolerance because he was saying with a race motor like this, you wanna have a little bit more tolerance, a little looser in there versus the tighter fitment that you'd have on the stock piston um, to kind of allow for what we're doing with this car. And we've got the bushings already put into the rods, so they are pretty excited we're gonna get things finally going here again. We've been waiting on parts and things arriving. Uh, time to get this engine moving forward again. With the pin. All right. So we're going to be way on the left field. <laughs> 73, 2. So we lost 0.3 grams mm -hmm. on that. Trying to get on or close to 87.1.3. So we're just taking down a little material out of each one of these and then marking the new weight on those two that we've done so far. All this is here too. Super tight tolerance. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Stop production. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. We still love you, Roger. I show up late. I get you. That's right. We finally got Roger his own Finelli shirt, so it's not our, it's not his fault. are balanced. Let's do the rods. He's got to be one pin out of that. So what are we doing here, Roger? Setting the gauge so we can see where we're really our target point where we're shooting for a zero. Okay. And we'll put a little clearance in too on top of that and see how close they got them when they board them. Should only be a couple of fouls. Yeah, about four, five, something like that. That's all right. This means we got to hone a little more. Nice sharp edge. Yeah. They should have knocked that off, but it didn't. So, anyway. Incomplete work. Yeah, not, uh, not the worst thing in the world, but. Just a little grumpy like that. Yeah. Nice chamfer at least now instead of having a big sharp edge that we run into. Uh huh.
weren't doing it that way unless you were super lazy and never wanted to through the stones. So. Yeah. That one there, he called me, told me about it, but he marked it with an X, and for whatever reason, that one cut two thousandths bigger hmm. than what these did. So you were down in the four, four plus thousandths yeah. fit there, and that's why I purposely had him do that, in case there's any kind of a variation, I could still fit it the way I wanted it to be. Right. Glad you fell in love with it. Yeah, me too. I could have been a stamp collector. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stepping on a few toes. I'm just trying not to step too hard. That's right. Are those bronze or brass bushings right here? Well, I'm not even sure what the material is, but bronze of some sort. Yeah. High dollar bronze. How about that? Yeah, the good stuff. Yeah, good. Technical name. Yeah. made out of super hard material that straightens the stone out. Okay. So that's getting the stone nice and true mm -hmm. for the final cut. We'll give these a quick wash in the hot tank and then we can go through and start balancing them. Yeah. Cool. 
Hell yeah. Eagle rods. Nice. Eagle rods. Nice. I was just noting how impressive how they've machined these parts where you can barely see where they connect the caps. Roger's saying that we'll add a little chamfer along where they meet up. This way there's no sharp edges for nothing to catch a bearing on, but it's still pretty cool. Alright, same process as our pistons. Go through, weigh each one of them, write it down, and then whichever is the lowest one, we'll then try to aim and get each one within a gram or so of that weight. A gram or less, not a gram or so. A gram or less, that's right. We're being precise here. This ain't no run of the mill motor, it's a Roger Brazier race motor. Series of fish stuff. Yeah. A lot of work here. So far, we're looking awful close. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. 6065, 6065, 6085. Cool. Way to go, Eagle. Yeah. Well, what we're doing this way is we're splitting the rod. This is supported. We're basically weighing the rod from the center this direction. Okay. And then when we do it the other way, then we turn around and we're weighing up the other way. Oh, we flip them and weigh them the other way too? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We've been weighed once, we're just going through now and measuring a second time to double check our work. So 4.3 is our lightest one, so we're getting close. on here and getting everything to balance out so 6022 is our new aiming point. The last rod. So on four. Cool. Now they're all about 6014, 6015 within 
0.2, 0.3 grams of each other. Okay, now that they're all within half a gram of each other, we can flip the fixture around and do the other end. Do the other end. You do it, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Silly boy. Yeah. Like it looks about the same. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cute. Too fast my bedtime. Yeah. There's something wrong with that. Them numbers are yeah. way too. The number too looks wide. the same, Roger. Yeah. There we go. One seventeen. One eighteen. She went out touching something. Yeah. Eight seventy two seven. Eight seventy two seven. Keep it up, we'd be happy. We get to go home early. Yeah. Seventy one. What is that? Eight seventy two seven. Seventy-one two. Nice. Good in. Good in. Good in. Oh, the grill pot. Make sure it's so good. Sixty-four. That's making more sense, 6057.